Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us. On January 5th, 2016, the province was served with notice of a constitutional and legal challenge to provincial policies regarding availability of medical abortions for Prince Edward Island women. This challenge calls into question policies on abortion access and funding going back to the 1980s. Since early January, legal advisors have been studying questions raised by the litigation. We have been advised that the probabilities are very low that the province could successfully defend policies that provide a legal, provincially funded medical procedure only if obtained outside the province, unless there are justifiable medical reasons why the service cannot be provided on Prince Edward Island. More precisely, we are advised that the current policy would likely be found to be contrary to equality rights guaranteed by the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, as well as charter guarantees of security of the person. Our government is mindful of its obligations to act in compliance with the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Further, we are committed to offering high quality, timely, and professional health care to Prince Edward Islanders without discrimination. Accordingly, government has decided not to contest this lawsuit. We adopt, we will adopt a comprehensive approach to women's reproductive health. Minister Henderson will speak to this in more detail. In coming to this position, government respects that Prince Edward Islanders hold a range of deep convictions about abortion. This range of views and these strong convictions are reflected within our cabinet and caucus and have been fully aired in our deliberations. We have members who are pro-life and members who are pro-choice. -pro we respect these views and respect each other as we, as we expect will be the case among Prince Edward Islanders. Our position today is grounded in our obligations to comply with the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, and it is grounded in our commitment to offer high quality, accessible, professional health care on equal terms for Prince Edward Islanders without discrimination. With the establishment of a hospital-based centre dedicated to women's reproductive health, Prince Edward Island will offer service in an area, crit an area critical to our collective health and well-being. Thank you. I'll now invite Minister Henderson to speak. Thank you, Premier. Good afternoon, everyone. During the last provincial election and since becoming Minister of Health and Wellness, many people have approached uh, me and my office about the pressing need for more women's reproductive health services. Based on this decision we are announcing here today, I have directed Health PEI to develop a business case for a new women's reproductive health centre in an island hospital setting. It will offer timely access to medical and surgical abortion services, including pre- and post-treatment counseling and support, which is a cr critical component to the service. When the new Women's Reproductive Health Centre is in place, government will cease service funding agreement of abortion services in Halifax. The Moncton service will remain in place for Prince Edward Island women who choose to use it. Existing regulatory barriers to on-island abortion access will be removed. Reproductive health refers to a wide range of services, and I will be asking Health PEI to explore other services to be offered at the Women's Reproductive Health Centre, which could include pre in vitro fertilization testing and post-treatment support on the island and supports for women with postpartum depression. The Canadian Mental Health Association statistics suggest that up to 20% of women experience depression or anxiety following the birth of a child. And if left untreated, this can have a serious and lasting impact on the health of the mother, the child, and of course the family. Government has requested Health PEI to consider the professional, logistical, and budgetary implications of implementing this center, and to provide a report and detailed plan as quickly as possible. Health PEI will recommend to government and when and where the center will be located and how it will be resourced. As part of the process, Health PEI will seek input from community partners, including the Canadian Mental Health Association, the Women's Network, and others. It is our preference that the centre be opened by the end of 2016. By co-locating these women's reproductive health services in one centre, we will be able to provide women with a strong and supportive professional environment while making the best use of health care resources. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Henderson. Follow the Minister responsible 
that. Uh, thank you, Premier, and uh, thank you, everyone, for, for being here uh, on this uh, important announcement today. As Minister responsible for status of women, I want to acknowledge the many island women and men who have advocated on both sides of this issue for many years, whether it was by writing letters, going to rallies, or mobilizing in many different forums. Government is respectful of all views. We have listened to all perspectives. And we have balanced these convictions with our commitment to offer timely access to high quality frontline services that align with women's equality rights. It is my hope that this decision will not be regarded as much as a victory or defeat, but as an effort to ensure that we have good public policy that can stand the test of time. I want to indicate my support for the new Women's Reproductive Health Center, which will enhance services for island women in several important areas already noted. All of these services will be of great benefit to island women's physical and emotional health and the health of their families. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Bigger. We'd be prepared to take uh, questions if there are any. Monsieur the Premier Minister, is this not essentially a dossier political that you knew that you probably would not win in the end? Et que, bon, euh, vous avez fait durer les choses pour montrer que vous n'étiez euh, pas, euh, vous pliez pas devant le, le, le mouvement pro nous, euh, nous avons fait une analyse euh, par euh, nos conseillers euh, juridiques euh, qui, ont, euh, qui ont conseillé que euh, nos chances euh, de réussite euh, sont minimales et donc. Euh, Du point de vue juridique, euh, le cas est clair et, et c'est ça qu'on a pris en, en dé délibération en arrivant à l'annonce qu'on qu fait aujourd'hui et à, à la politique et à, au chemin que nous prévoyons, prévoyons pour l'avenir. Donc ça c'est depuis le mois de janvier que cette analyse là Depuis janvier? Oui. Merci. D'autres questions? Thank you, everyone, then, for, for being here. And I so, uh, appreciate uh, your attendance. And I so, look forward to next steps. Thank you.